We were able to go on this amazing walking tour of all the filming locations of the show. To the right, one of the most famous restaurants where you'll often see Emily and friends having lunch or drinks before and after work. And guys, right behind me, this is Savoie. Of course, Emily's office in the series. So come along on this great tour of all the great filming locations of Emily in Paris season three. When you look around, you can immediately realize like, oh, this is the place. This is where she lived. And that's where Gabrielle, her uh, heartthrob, hubba hubba neighbor used to work. And then you look at it and you go, but that's not it. He worked at a French restaurant. That's an Italian restaurant, <laughs> okay? So guys, thing is, I like pointing it out just to bring it across like, when you do a film or a series something, you can take a place that's quintessentially Parisian and turn it into whatever backdrop you need by changing just a few small details. Make sure you all remember this is the door. This is where she had her first cliche Parisian moment. Coming out, almost stepping in the doggy landmine, let's call it that. The doggy <laughs> landmine? Yeah. I love that. Keep That's it PG 13. And this is the famous patisserie on the bakery at Emily and Paris, where she does her first Instagram. Yeah. This is uh, the Pantheon, and in front of the Pantheon is where Emily and Deadbeat Doug, Dead Doug broke up. Deadbeat Doug from Chicago. So, this here, you can actually see nicely. This is the cinema, Le Shampoo, where Luke brings Emily in season two, when she was like in a really dark place and she needed distraction. He brought her here to watch the, the 1962 classic. Jules and Jim, you can see the poster up there. Wow. Paris is the most exciting city in the world. And you never know what's going to happen next. We've got the beautiful Fontaine Saint-Michel, the fountain of St. Michael. And this is where Mindy gets all dressed up in that beautiful cape coat, thinking it's going to be this major gig. And then she ends up busking by accident. But right now it's a winter a market. Christmas market, yeah. Over here, we're looking at the balcony on Pont Neuf, the oldest bridge in the city. This is where the season two finale happens. A little bit of a cliffhanger when she stares out thinking, what is she going to do? What is her next step? And if the show's a success, which it will be, there's an option for him to... <laughs> Just cut. Start again. <laughs>